Hey, greetings guys. I'm in the village of Sosignac, about an hour and 15 minutes outside of Bordeaux. And I'm with my friend, uh, Carolyn. And uh, actually her parents live in Vancouver Island and her sister lives in Vancouver. That's how I came to uh, find the estate. Carolyn, this is a great estate. I tasted the wines last night. Please explain to, to the listeners briefly about what uh, uh, Ocarig is all about. Good, thanks John. So my name is Caroline Feely and Chateau Garrigue, uh, we've had Chateau Garrigue for five years and we're organic and biodynamic. Part of what we're trying to do um, with the biodynamics is create really quality wines that express the terroir. And one of the things that we've done as part of that research, if you like, is analyze the wines on the basis of sensitive crystallization, which means that um, we look at the quality of the wine with a different, uh, it's, it's a different way of looking at the quality of the wine by uh, creating a crystallization with copper salts. So you mix the product with copper salts and you create, well, the, the product creates its own image. Which is and so right that here. That is the image of this Merlot wine. So that image was created by the wine itself. It's a completely natural process. Copper salts with a product, regardless of what the product is, it can be juice, it can be water, it can be a, a solid product that's been mixed with a completely, completely clean water to create an image, and you will get a crystal. In this case, it's a very well-formed crystal, and it tells us that this wine is a good, clean, natural wine with a lot of dark fruit, a lot of aroma, and that has a very, very good aging potential. So it's got a nice clean center, it's got very, very clear rays coming out of the center and then it's got a really, really good band around the outside that tells us that that's very good aging potential. Now you've done this with other mass-produced wines. Tell me yes. what those crystals look like. Okay, so we've done this on, I did two days of training on this process and uh, this, this was done by a lab, the lab that did all the, the, the training and did the other 20 wines that we analyzed in the class and this was the top wine of the, of the wines we analyzed. It was the, the, the most beautiful, if you like, crystal that gave the, the best results. We looked at one, another wine that was uh, mass produced, chemically farmed, uh, additives in the winery kind of wine and the crystallization was not really a crystallization. It had centers all over the place. It was a real aberration. There was there, there was no crystal. There was no center. Almost, there was no, no, no almost, rays. Almost like a wine on ADD or an ADD wine. It's they're all over the place. <laughs> That's it. It was so so different. So to me and and other things that we that we analyzed that were really interesting to see the quality of the product was water from village water where it's been had chlorine added been manipulated obviously to to stop disease getting into our water source but still not giving a very very good quality water versus uh, tap uh, versus uh, rainwater versus water from a source where the water has been filtered through uh, calcium rock through limestone rock and uh, the difference between the three was enormous the limestone uh, filtered water was beautiful the rainwater was okay and the village water was ugly ugly <laughs> and now here's here we're just to the left of me are here we go. Our friends, the chickens. The chickens, and we're, you know, four feet away from them. They don't really care. Uh, I had a couple eggs for breakfast that, that Carolyn brought me, and they were huge, and the shells were, you know, as hard as enamel and concrete. You had to hit it a few times to uh, to get the, get it to break open. And these are these are healthy chickens, and this, they just wander around the vineyards. And they're, they're a great, uh, they're uh, pest destroyers. So if we have ever any kind of outbreak of, say, the tiny baby snails, although yes. we've never had any major outbreak, but every now and then we get a few on the baby sauvignon over there, mm -hmm. we encourage the chickens to head down into that vineyard and um, we put a little bit of their grain down there and then they naturally just carry on cleaning there and they will clean up any of the pests that we don't That's amazing. Now tell me so. when you bought the vineyard, uh, three years later you had orchids growing and nothing ever grew before. This is interesting. That's it. So when we bought the vineyard in 2005, it had been farmed conventionally, so with chemical products. Uh, weed kill, probably one of the worst things. And so the soil was pretty dead. 
And actually, um, like here, there wouldn't have been any growth, no biodiversity, no plants, um, a little bit of grass between the rows, but nothing anywhere near the vines. Um, it was all just moss, which is a clear indicator that things are dead yeah. and there's nothing else kind of going okay. except the moss. And um, then after three years, the orchids start to come back. So now we have orchids. Um, in a couple of in a couple of weeks, actually, they'll start to appear. And uh, we have ten different varieties that are in our vineyards, and that we really try to to keep because they're not only are they beautiful, but they're also another element of biodiversity of helping our keep our vineyards in equilibrium. So we never need to spray pesticides. Right. Well, you know, I know when we were had dinner last night, you had looked in the Okanagan. Yes. For for vines and uh, I wish you guys were up there. You would have been doing this in the Okanagan, <laughs> but uh, property was a bit expensive back then. Even, right. even five years ago, it's even more now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, next uh, <laughs> next next go around. Next go around. Yeah, next go around. <laughs> um, the wines are they're they're authentic. They're real. They're flavorful. Um, I really like them. You'll see them in the store within the next uh, several months. So, uh, Carol, thank you very much for the brief. Um, brief um, explanation uh, there is a jeet right up here overlooking the vineyard spacious see, uh, four people can fit in there yeah, yeah, four yeah. people big kitchen quiet I mean I got up at noon today so <laughs> it was uh, it, you know it's, it's a real restful, restful spot and also Carolyn does walking tours through the vineyards biodynamic organic vineyards to show show you what what, what they look like so uh, if you're interested they have a website uh, you can just Google it. What was life B B G before Google? Who knows? <laughs> but uh, there you go. Thank you very much. Good thanks, John.